Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another MetaHumans and Unreal 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to scan yourself into MetaHumans and create a custom MetaHuman with your own face with free tools. So today we're going to be using Zephyr Free, the free version. This is freely available to you with the limitation that you can only create scans from 50 photos, which is what we're going to do. So what you want to do is take a photo of yourself or get someone to take a photo of you from every 30 degrees it's going around the front side of your head and you only need the front. That's um, important. So every 30 degrees. And then we also want on each of those 30 degrees to be taking five photos from the top down to underneath, as you can see there from the side. So to begin with, we're going to go up to workflow. We're going to click new project. And I'm going to click Compute 3D Model after project, uh, after project creation. And we're also going to compute the textures after the surface extraction. Now this is just going to save us a couple of steps. We can go back and do these manually if you do not do this, but this is fine. Next, we're going to select our 50 photos. Now I've already got them here. So just going through the project uh, wizard, we'll just hit next. Uh, it's detected the type of camera I used, which was just my phone. Um, so nothing fancy. And uh, go next again. So I'm just going to use the human body uh, category and I'm going to use the default preset and we'll just go through and go next for all of these using the same presets. And then for the texturing preset, we're just going to use uh, general and uh, default single texture. We don't want to uh, use multi texture here just because we'll make it easier to go into Unreal with the textures. So after we've done that, final page here we just click run and this will take a little bit uh, depending on your computer it could take up to half an hour um, a lot less if you've got a newer computer okay so that took about five minutes and you'll be presented with this which will just show you whether or not each image that you have submitted has been reconstructed in this case everyone has so you'll be uh, given the scene here if i just left mouse click i can tumble scroll to zoom in and middle mouse click and drag to uh, pan around so you'll see I've got my washing over there on the right and my fridge behind me we have a lot of stuff here that we do not need to see so um, at the moment I'm viewing the textured mesh I can actually go through and have a look at what the point cloud will look like if I wish by selecting it there um, but for the next part because I want to isolate I'm just going to go to the mesh and I'm going to click this button here which is going to give me the bounding box so we want to edit this and what we have available to edit is on the bottom right here. So we've got translate, rotate and scale. Um, so currently I've only got scale selected. I also want to have, um, actually we'll just start with scale. So we'll, and we'll turn off rotate. So we'll, we'll drag in till we get just basically my head and neck. Next we want to rotate this. I'm going to rotate it so the, um, x-axis um, or well, this red ones are facing forward this should give us the correct orientation when we go into unreal uh, but if it's not we can always change it and then with translate i'll turn scale off for a moment i'll just move this so it's put me in this little box okay so um one hot tip don't accidentally hit Control z <laughs> otherwise you'll undo the bounding uh, which you don't want to do so just really make sure you've got um, the front and the back uh, and the top there. The back of the head, really not that important So um, for this, um, this scan. So we're really just focusing on getting the, the front and the sides and uh, you know from the lower angles and things as well. And that's going to be enough for us. Also just making sure that with our photos we've got a pretty neutral lighting setup. I've got a little bit more of a highlight on my right hand side of this image, but it's going to be fine probably. So using our dense point cloud, we're going to extract this part of the mesh. So we're going to go to Workflow, Advanced, Mesh, mesh Extraction. We're going to say Select Dense Point Cloud 1. And um, All Cameras is fine. And then Next. We're going to use uh, the default and we'll use Ultra. And this way we're going to get really um, good uh, quality here. This will take longer, but this is why we wanted to do this isolation. So we're calculating a little bit less. And then after you've uh, done that, I'm going to click Run. All right, so a couple of minutes later, here we have this, and you can see that the quality looks quite nice. We can turn this um, off. There we go. So pretty good. Um, a little bit 
funky on some parts of the surface but this is going to be okay for our purposes um, so we're pretty much ready to export this you can see the previous mesh if we click this one here with all the background uh, this one's just a little bit sharper now at the moment we don't actually have a textured mesh so we're going to go to workflow textured mesh generation and we're going to select mesh 2 so we'll go next um, category again we're going to use just general preset we're going to go single texture um, and this is just so we can work in unreal a little bit easier here go next and again run okay so finally if we go into textured meshes you'll see textured mesh 2 that is the new one based on the high poly one and that is the old one okay so finally we're going to export the textured mesh so we're going to go to export export textured mesh and we're going to make sure we're selecting the correct one which is the second one in this case export format we're going to set to obj we're going to export as a single texture we are going to uh, set it to 8k and we will click uh, export and i'm going to call this one me mesh once exported you should find the file in your exported directory and you'll see it has all the texture and everything assigned to it and you can see that in this one uh, it was a little bit lighter on one side and darker on the other side but this is going to be okay okay so now we're going to edit our mesh uh, just so it's a little bit cleaner um, you don't have to do this step i'm going to do it just to because i've tried this previously and i know that the hair is a bit of an issue so um, if you have a bit of hair sticking out or if you've got some aspects of your face you want to smooth down a bit this could be a good idea for you so we're going to go to and you can do this in any um, software if you do Maya or, or blender or whatever you can do that i'm going to use zbrush because it's what i like to use so we're going to go to import we're going to go to the me mesh directory i quite like that and we'll import it there bring that in and then we'll need to edit it so first things first this is nowhere near facing the correct direction so we want to change that so i'm just going to rotate myself and try and find the so this i should be facing this way and that's looking pretty good if i hold down alt i can move the gizmo check across my eyes that looks good check up and down uh, it's actually considering i just eyeballed that pretty good and we'll just have a look at this side as well so we're not seeing too much of the other side of the brow that looks fine so the areas that i'm mainly concerned with here is this large area of hair that's sticking out and we could possibly flatten this top part as well though when i did test this last time i did a pretty good job of figuring out that part it didn't like these aspects though so um, and maybe we could get rid of some of this part here however we don't want to change the topology so we want to not add or remove any topology and the reason for that is because we want to keep these textures to be able to generate the metahuman so just keeping the brush pretty large we can um, i'll just use it clay build up and just take away a bit of volume there a lot of these lumpy bits on my forehead and my cheeks etc uh, it's going to be cleaned up uh, when we do the the retargeting in unreal so don't worry too much about it um, i'm just mainly concerned with the volume so don't don't get um, caught up trying to smooth everything out so just really just get the volumes to be what they should be for your skull okay that should be enough um the other thing you might want to look at is the ears just check that there's enough um sort of topology there that they're they're not glued onto the side of your head mine are a little bit but that's going to be fine once we get to uh, many humans anyway we can change this on import as well in unreal but i find it easier just to do it beforehand so yeah that's going to be pretty good i reckon so once we've completed editing the next thing we need to do is export as an fbx and i'm just doing this under z plugin and something that's really important uh, is the scale i need to set the scale to be quite a lot larger otherwise the normals will fail and it will look very unusual when you put it into unreal engine zbrush by default is exports everything really really tiny which is really useless for a lot of software so exporting it by a factor of 10 will solve that issue in this case so we will export here and i'm just going to call this one me mesh onefbx and I'm also just going to rename my texture to be called me mesh underscore texture and this is just so um, I can import both of these things and they don't have the same name if you're doing that just ensure the texture's got a different so first thing we're going to go uh, and open up bridge just from the start menu and uh, we just want to make sure that this is up to date in case it's not um, if you're 
are watching this video up on release, then you do want to make sure that you're up to date. So do log in and update Quixel Bridge. Next thing, obviously, we want to open the Epic Launcher. Next, we want to go to the marketplace. We want to type in MetaHuman, not MetaHumans, MetaHuman, singular. And we want to get the MetaHuman plugin. Um, and you'll just install it to engine here. Uh, that will do, itself, uh, do it itself. You don't have to worry too much about that process. Uh, once that's done, we can finally open up Unreal Engine. So I'll open up an existing project here uh, in Unreal 5.0.2. Before we do anything, we do want to make sure we go to Edit Plugins and we type in MetaHuman. We just make sure that this plugin is enabled. Once you enable it, you will need to restart the editor. Next, I'm just going to create a new folder here for my Memesh. And I'm also just going to rename my texture to be called Memesh underscore texture. And this is just so um, I can import both of these things and they don't have the same name. If you're doing that, just ensure the texture's got a different name. Next, we will import our met, uh, ourselves <laughs> into this. So import, and that's going to be Memesh1. I'm going to open that. Yeah, set the uh, imports to be default here and we want to make sure everything is at default and we're just going to enable combine mesh and then we'll click import okay and what we should have if we drag ourselves into the scene here is something that looks like this and that's me with the edit as you can see i don't have any texture on at the moment so we need to import those textures as well so we'll right click there and actually i'll just remind you if you've forgotten if you did import and there's a bunch of little holes in the mesh all over the place, it's the scale. So you need to scale up your mesh. If you don't do that when the normals come in, it's going to have um, nearly zero uh, normal information and on some vertices and it's going to uh, give you holes all throughout the mesh. So if you're having that issue, scale your mesh up inside whatever software you prefer to edit geometry. In. So let's import the texture. And we've already got a uh, material created, so I'm going to double click on that material and I'm going to drag my texture in and connect it up. I can delete that and apply and save and close. So you'll see now I've got my skin tones on me and my hair is relatively flat. Could have done a little bit of a better job, but it's going to be fine. So the next step is we're going to go to add and we're going to go to MetaHuman and MetaHuman Identity. And this name is going to be what your MetaHuman's named when you use the MetaHuman editor in the browser. So I'm just going to call this me underscore tutorial and then we'll double click on that. So we need to add in our geometry. So we'll components from mesh and we're just going to type in me mesh and we'll select that static mesh. So to do this, I'm going to set the viewport to be unlit and I want to set the FOV to something short or sorry, a, a low FOV or a long lens as it were. And then we're just going to arrange the camera so, so the viewport is pretty much filled and we've got rough symmetry from left to right. So once that's framed nicely, we're going to click promote frame and you should see frame zero comes up down here. Then we're going to rename this and right click on it and set auto tracking to on. And this will take a second and it's going to try and detect a couple of the facial features on your mesh. Once that's completed, we can lock the camera and we can click this button here up the top, which will generate the metahuman topology and skin our scan to it. If you want to see what the topology looks like, you can click this B button here and it will give you an indication. We can unlock the camera and have a little bit of a look around. And I can see already that this has done a better job generally in these areas that I was having problems with. Still got some lumpiness in the forehead, so I could go through further and make this a bit better. I can see that some lumps there in the jawline as well, probably created by the hair. Uh, the air is probably still a little bit small. I may go through and create a blend shape in Maya or something in the future to fix that. But for the moment, we'll say that this is fine. We can go through here and preview some of the body types with the mesh if we want to. But 
uh, we can actually do all this part once we get into the metahuman part of inside the website and the browser. So we're just going to go mesh to metahuman and this will start to upload to the metahumans software. Once completed this should pop up and we can click OK and jump into metahumans. So head over to metahumans.unreal.com, launch latest metahumans. So you can see a couple of versions here on the left that I've done previously. This was uh, just a, from MetaHumans, uh, the default, and then this was the first attempt. And this is the one that I've done here in the tutorial that you've been watching. So um, one thing I would say about this is that it is a little bit uncanny when you put skin on it because it doesn't look like your skin. Uh, generally this one, I can see there's a few issues which I'll show you how to, we can sort of fix a little bit. So if we go to custom mesh, we can select some of the areas and blend out the influence from our scan. And that may solve some issues you're having. If you've got, say, the scale cap, cap is not quite smooth enough, you can go through and change that. Um, these are sorts of things that I will probably try to fix up a little bit closer inside of uh, ZBrush because you can still see some sort of lumpiness around here in my forehead, which is uh, not quite right. The next thing I'll say is that you'll notice once you put skin on this character uh, it's not going to look much like you because the default sort of prefab skins aren't going to match your skin even if the the scan itself looks pretty good and this one looks you know like me i can see it uh, but as soon as i put skin on it gets very uncanny so just be prepared for that uh, i'm going to be doing custom grooms for this and in houdini and i've got a tutorial on the way for that so watch out for that i'm also going to be doing a custom skin paint in substance so if you want to learn how to do those things make sure you subscribe they should be out in the next few weeks so go through that as you normally would you can export it into your um, metahumans and that was just available inside of unreal by way of your quixel bridge and you can head into metahumans and my metahumans and you'll see it all there once it is ready you can just click on it here and uh, choose highest quality download it and import it into uh, into unreal so that's it for now thanks to our patrons for keeping the lights on and helping us get through all these tutorials if you wanted to get the assets and bonus tutorials that we make in conjunction with the tutorials that we bring out for free consider supporting us it's only five bucks a month and it really does help us otherwise look out for future tutorials for metahumans and unreal uh, we'll be bringing out a tutorial on how to do the grooms uh, with houdini and as well as how to do custom skin paints to get your metahumans to look a little bit closer i might record a separate tutorial on how i'm cleaning up my metahuman to make it look a little bit closer to what i look like just to get rid of that bumpiness on the face and things workflows and things like that and that might just go out to patrons i think this month that's it for this tutorial if you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out cg and illustration tutorials every week just like this one become a patron and access tutorial assets bonus content a private discord and more by clicking the link below